this panorama shows a view toward two areas on lower Mount Sharp, Mount Shields and Logan Pass. Curiosity had driven about 328 meters from the location where it made this observation of an outcrop at the base of Mount Shields that the rover then examined in detail. That study location was chosen on the basis of Mount Shields displaying a feature that geologists recognized from images like this as likely to be a site where an ancient valley was incised into bedrock then refilled with other sediments. After examining the outcrop, Curiosity resumed driving toward a sturdy area at Logan Pass. That location was selected earlier on the basis of images from orbit indicating contact there between two different geological units. The rover's route from Mount Shields to Logan Pass runs behind Jaco Butte from the viewpoint where this panorama was taken. The North Polar layered deposits and the bright ice cap that covers them are very young features by geologic standards. To try and figure out the age of an area or how quickly it's being resurfaced, planetary scientists count up the number of craters at different sizes. An older surface has more time to accumulate more craters 
where is a younger surface or one that has a number of geologic activity that destroys craters doesn't have many impact craters. The polar deposits seen here have a very low crater count so it is possible that the ice cap bright white in this image might only be about 10,000 years old and the surface of the layered deposits orange brown in this image may be only a few million years old. This may sound like a long time but it is very short compared to other surfaces on Mars. Images like these are enabling a more detailed study of these polar craters. The crater in the center of this image proved to be a surprise in a few ways. Its shape is non-circular which is quite unusual for an impact crater. One possibility is that the flow of the ice beneath the surrounding terrain has deformed the crater. However, ice flow rates are thought to be very low on Mars today. The crater also contains a patch of bright ice despite being surrounded by terrain that has mostly lost its ice cover. This seems typical for these polar craters and it may be that ice within these craters is protected from ablation by shading from the crater walls. This panorama shows Husband Hill with the dark El Dorado dune field visible along its base.
This rock that resembles a flower along with the spherical rocks seen to the right were made in the ancient past when minerals carried by water cemented the rock. Curiosity has in the past discovered a diverse array of similar small features that formed when mineralizing fluids traveled through conduits in the rock. Images of such features are helping scientists understand more about the prolonged history of liquid water on Mars. The dark mound seen here is Ireson Hill, which rises about 16 feet above the radar layered outcrop material of the Murray Formation on lower Mount Sharp. Curiosity Rover took this picture while examining a linear sand dune in the area. The faint horizon in the distance beyond Ireson Hill is part of the rim of Gale Crater. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover used its masked camera to capture this scene around a drill hole. The scene was captured while Curiosity was parked on top of a feature called the Green Hue Pediment. Looming above in the background is the top of Mount Sharp, the three-mile tall mountain that Curiosity has been ascending since 2014.
Wind is one of the most active forces shaping Mars's surface. Wind carved features such as these called yardangs are common on the red planet. In this location, wind has deposited fine sand on the floor of shallow channels between the yardangs and formed ripples and small dunes. In Mars's thin atmosphere, light is not scattered much, so the shadows cast by the yardangs are sharp and dark. Undulating bands of dark and light sand, sloping dunes and scattered cobbles form an apron around a ridge of light-colored rock that stands in bold relief against distant plains in this spectacular view from the top of a hill on Mars.